Hi everyone. My video today is going to be included in a video hop. This hop was created by Shannon Green and uh, my video along with several other channels uh, will be will all be participating together to provide a little hop for you to uh, be able to jump from one video to the next and the way it's set up is when you're finished watching this video just go to my uh, description box and you'll see a list there of the other participants and all you need to do is click on the link at the very top the very first link and as you go through the hop you'll do the same thing with all the videos you look at when you're done uh, watching the video you go to the description box and you click on the uh, link in the very top of the list and when you get back to mine, you'll know you've seen everything and you've completed the hop. So today I'm going to be making an index card. And I'm going to start with a uh, jelly print that I made last year. And I'm going to use these stamps from Unity Stamp to stamp some leaves onto this print. And then I'm going to cut them out and use on this index card. You may remember this tag that I made several weeks ago. Um, well, I showed you the tag. You didn't see how I made it. So I thought I would kind of replicate that on this index card. And one of the things that I liked about the tag was that when I spread the paint on, it sort of gave the look of wood. And I just spread it with the credit card like you see there, and it just gave it this, um, this neat kind of a wood look and then uh, later I'll uh, also use some stays on ink and kind of drag it across there to even create the wood look even more and there I'm just wiping up the rest to use later So I'm going to be using some, <clears throat> excuse me, some leaf stamps from Martha Stewart Crafts. And I'm going to use some uh, archival ink here that's almost the color of the paint that I put down, just a tiny bit darker, just to give it a little bit of uh, visual texture like you see there on that tag. It's just some uh, uh, extra for another place for the eye to go and uh, it keeps the background from being too plain. They're not supposed to jump out at you or anything, but it does add a nice little bit of um, visual texture. So now I'm going to cut the leaves out and uh, place them, you know, kind of scattered as if they had fallen um, maybe on a wooden deck outside or something like that. It's just to give a, a nice little fall impression. So here's where I'm taking that stays on ink, kind of dragging it across and just makes it look even more like wood. And taking the stamp pad around the edges as well. And now I'm taking just a little bit of gold metallic paint and um, just kind of scattering some here and there just to give a little little bit of shimmer and uh, added interest and also putting some around the edges. and also on the leaves. I just wanted to give them a little bit of fall sparkle. And again, using up the excess, <clears throat> excuse me, on the card to use later.
And now I'm going to use some Scotch quick dry adhesive to adhere the leaves to the card. And I'm only going to use the leaf, uh, excuse me, the glue right down the the middle section of the leaves so that I can kind of um, bend the leaves up a little on the edges to give it a little dimension without having to use like foam adhesive to to make them you know pop just a little bit off the card And now I'm using some um, some very old alphabet uh, stickers that I've had for a while. You know, I'm in use it up mode, so <laughs> trying to use up, you know, some stuff. And I'm just kind of placing the letters in different ways until I, you know, get it the way that is more appealing to me. I kind of like that way. It's a little playful, kind of staggered. And now I'm just outlining them with a um, Uniball Vision Micro Pen to um, help them to stand out just a little bit from the card. And I decided that the card was a little bit dark. I, I wanted to brighten it up a bit, so I just drew in some of these little, you know, those little seeds that fly around in the fall. <laughs> I think they're from a milkweed plant, probably several other kinds of plants, but I just thought those looked kind of cool because that's what you see in the fall, you know, all those fluffy little leaves, I mean, seeds floating, floating on the wind. So that's what I did to brighten up the background. And then I still felt like it needed a little something, and so I'm thinking, 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 and I finally decided that the letters needed a little bit more. So I took my Posca pen in white and just dotted inside each one of the letters, and I felt like that brightened it up uh, just the right amount. I want to thank everyone for watching today, and I would encourage you to continue along the hop. A lot of the channels involved today are newer channels, and it'd be great if you could watch and uh, give them some likes and subscribe to their channels, and uh, it would really mean a lot to them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.